Hey y'all, I'm back with a DIY embellishment video and this time I'm showing you how I recreated the crepe paper butterflies. Now these are originally stitched and layered. I do add some extra touches here at the end. Um, I started by showing you guys that I am using Martha Stewart punches, two of those, and then an EK Success punch, but I'm not actually layering those right now. Those are off to the side on the right. I did find a cameo cut, and I believe it was just in my library, and it was called like Layered Butterfly or something, and I just basically sized them in a large, medium, and small. Like I just kind of fit some at the top of my page and made those larger and then put some in the middle and made those kind of like a medium size. So I just kind of did the size that I thought that you know would look good on a scrapbook page and I wanted some variation because obviously I don't want just all one size butterfly. Again I used like a layered butterfly um, and I just sized them different sizes and then now I'm just uh, layering them up and using a little bit of adhesive in the middle and then I will stitch these whenever the time when I'm done putting most of these together. Um, you'll kind of see what I meant when I said small, medium, and large because right here that's just really like unorganized and so I decided instead of looking for them every single time I'm just going to go ahead and separate them. So you'll see the top row that I'm working on is uh, like the the base of the butterfly and then the below that is the like the what you put on top and so I just go through the bigger butterflies at first and I layer those up and because they're layered butterflies they fit perfectly obviously you can find just one butterfly and size it size one butterfly bigger and size the other one smaller and then just layer them right on top and it should nest pretty well um so I'm working on the Martha Stewart punch well that is an EK success punch the bigger one but the smaller uh butterflies are Martha Stewart punch and I'm just showing you guys that you don't have to even layer them or one doesn't even have to be smaller you can just layer two of the same size and they look they look just as good to me. Um, so all I'm doing is layering these up. And because this is so simple, I did step it up a notch after I stitched these. I do add some embellishments to them so that you can see a different way to like spice it up. And then I also so show you the process of my layout that I use these on, which um, I had a lot of fun creating these and I had a lot of fun working on the layout. So I hope that the explanation was was not too confusing if it was just turn the volume down <laughs> I'm just kidding but if it was just ask me questions and I can try to clarify but for the most part I used cameo cuts and I used punches and I basically nested the butterflies together I probably could have just said that and been done in like 30 seconds okay so basically I'm just taking enamel dots and different little small embellishments that I seriously I've had in my stash for probably over a year and just layering them up and then I decided I liked the enamel dots and I liked the sequins and you know the different little epoxy puffy things that I, I think it's puffy stickers that I used to but I decided that I really wanted to take it like a little bit of a step further so I do pull out some snap uh, little phrase stickers and I add those onto um, my butterflies and then as well as some paper clips and then I also pull out my glitter hearts and do that too so I really really loved the way that those turned out like as soon as like the more not I don't want to say the more you add but when you do kind of like step up and I've said this a million times I know in my most recent videos but if you just add little extra touches it makes a huge difference and so I really found that it made a huge difference and I really was like not sure what else I wanted to do to these because they are so simple and I wanted to kind of you know do something step out of the box and do something different so that you guys could get some sort of like inspiration and um, that's what I decided to do and I like I, again I love the way that they turned out so here I'm pulling out a glitter heart that I just have pre-cut and I believe that's a lawn fawn um, die cut I think it's there are a bunch of there's like five or six hearts I think together there's they're super cute I love the shape of their hearts and then um, I'm still using those phrase stickers now you could easily type these up on your typewriter because my cameo was plugged in I unplugged my typewriter and set it on the ground so of course you know what that means I was a little bit too lazy to plug it in so um, now I'm working on my layout. So I'm using the Hello Love Collection and I'm really excited because I'm getting down to, I would say like half of the amount of papers maybe. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but I feel like I've used quite a bit of their papers and I really wanted to use um, 
quite a few in this layout. So I use the black and white stripe. It's kind of like a watercolor stripe with some splatters on it on the right hand side of my paper. And here I go again, like one, using number one, using crepe paper and two, not knowing whether I want to use this layout vertically or um, horizontally. I do end up going vertically this time. So I am just looking through the papers and setting the embellishments aside and deciding that I want to use two photos. And so I just, I'm really into this two photo lay one diagonally technique. <laughs> um, so I really uh, am enjoying that. And so I decided to do that for this uh, layout. And so I'm just matting my photos and I decided instead of using my scissors, I'll probably just use my trimmer on this one because I didn't, because normally what happens is I use my scissors and I think I'm doing a good job. And then I realize it's a little lopsided and it's not the kind of lopsided that looks cute. It's like the lopsided that you need to fix. And so I um, decided I always end up going back to my trimmer or most of the time I go back to my trimmer anyway. So I might as well just start out using it. Just going to adhere my layers together. And then because one side is going to be fluffier than the other and I need to match that height, I decided to pop uh, one side up on pop dots. And this is a common problem of mine because I took the sticky back off of that, um, those pop dots and I, I'm not going to really be able to place anything underneath that unless I pull it up. So be careful with that because, I, and just because I do that all the time. And so I knew I wanted a doily under there and then I realized pretty quickly, I'm not going to be able to layer any ephemera under that side because I have already adhered it down. Now I could, I could obviously pull it up and I do that sometimes. But the good news is I don't really end up needing any ephemera on that side. The doily did enough and plus the pattern paper is enough. But for future reference, I just need to remember, you know, don't take the sticky back off if you're not ready. The good news is on this one, I, I, it was okay. So I, so there, I pulled one of those pinwheels from the Target dollar spot. They were Valentine's pinwheels and I didn't, I didn't like the tops of them, but I like the base of them. And so I just pull off the top and then I just add something else. I'm just pulling different things from my stash. I have a couple of little ephemera pieces from the Crate Paper Notes and Things collection. And then one from, oh, what's that collection? The Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm collection, but it's like the gold, gold foil pack that I got from Amazon. It's like the mini Project Life kit. And now I'm using my homemade... Uh, or handmade, homemade, whatever, butterflies. And just gonna, you, I think I'm gonna pick three or four and just kind of place them on different spots. And then I decide I want one there at the top, but I obviously it's hanging off the page. So I'm just gonna cut off the excess. And then I'm just gonna do one more thing and I'm just gonna add my title and that pretty much finishes the layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna have some final photos coming up right now. Have a great week. Thank you.